So here in Final Cut Pro 10.3, I wanted to take a look at the new roles that are available. Now, the idea of this is that we can focus the attention on audio that we're editing at that particular point in time, whether that be effects, dialogue, a musical soundtrack, and so on and so forth. And the location that we do all that management in is in the index here. So you can see here, we have three main sections in our index, the clips, our tags and roles that we can set up for our audio and video in Final Cut Pro 10. So at first glance, if you have a look at uh, these two options that are available here, you can see that if we turn off the video, it's just gonna play back the audio. So effectively we're, we're muting the video or muting the dialogue. And then if we jump up to my sound effects up here at the top left of Final Cut Pro 10, I have a few sound effects I can add. And I'm just gonna add one of these jingles to the timeline and you'll see that by default, it adds that jingle as an effect. So now that I've added that, I can turn off my dialogue so that I can listen to and monitor the, the sound levels, and which you can do by coming to window, show in workspace and audio meters. So we can bring up our audio meters on the right hand side here to view those sound levels. And so now if we play back, we're just playing back the sound levels for that audio effects file, effectively the backing track for this edit. Now we can also change a couple of other things here. Now one thing in the past has been an issue with Final Cut Pro is that you end up with a, a very kind of cluttered timeline once you get a lot of video and audio on your timeline. So I've set up a simple edit here just to demonstrate how these lanes can work when we want to manage our audio using roles. So this is a real simple example. So jump back into the index here and you can see here that we've got this stack of clips and each of these audio clips has its own roles that's highlighted by the colors that you can see here in the stack. So if I just have a look at one of these audio clips that I've added to the timeline, we can right click on it and we can see under assign audio roles that we have a list of different roles that we can assigned to that particular audio role. So for instance, if I change this uh, track to music, then it's gonna jump down to be grouped with the music track. So these lanes now are grouping things together of a similar role. So I'm gonna right click and reassign this back to a dialogue. And you can see I have dialogue one and dialogue two listed here. So these two um, separate roles. And if I grab the position tool from here and just move all these clips back a bit, you can see that these different roles are actually grouped into different sections within the timeline. So let's jump to the roles here and now have a look at how we can modify what we're seeing. So we have a few different buttons here. The first is to show or collapse this lane in the timeline. So if I click this, it's gonna collapse the dialogue. So it's gonna pull the dialogue for the video back in there. And if I expand it, it's gonna expand it out. So it's all those tracks are are listed and so if I have other tracks on a stacked layer here you can see that the audio from those connected clips actually jumps down to this dialogue section here which is really useful when you want to see your different audio tracks together for managing those audio levels for dipping things and setting up the timing okay so I'm gonna click this button again so you can see that audio jumps back up to this connected clip we also have this button here as well or organizing things into the lanes. So you can see the difference between the dialogue in that it's just stacking all the dialogue together. And this second button is that it's actually grouping things together in the sub roles. So I have dialogue one here and dialogue two. So if I right click and assign the role of dialogue two to this clip, it's gonna move down to this lane down here. And we can set up new roles as well in the edit roles function. So we can add new dialogue sub roles so we can have more than one lane within the dialogue role and we can also set up our own custom main roles as well alongside the dialogue effects and music as well so if we have a look at this third button here you can see this button is going to focus the attention on that dialogue role so by clicking these buttons we're minimizing those other tracks so now i've focused on the effects here and my music and my dialogue have been minimized. So we're really simplifying the audio workflow when we're working in Final Cut Pro 10.3 here now in a, a nice way. So you can see how this is gonna simplify visually the edit and also highlight the way that you're working with audio in Final Cut Pro in a really helpful way. And lastly here, we can also turn tracks on and off. So if we look to the left to these checkboxes, you can see in the roles here, I can turn off all of my video so it's grayed out here. 
and I can also turn off all my dialogue or individual roles within that uh, dialogue category and effects as well. So we can really focus on which edit we're working on. And so this in conjunction with monitoring audio levels is going to be really helpful in managing more complex edits in Final Cut Pro 10.3. And it's a really exciting new update from the previous version um, that I think a lot of editors are going to find extremely useful. There's a lot more to explore here, but this should give you a good starting point for beginning to work with roles, setting up some basic roles for dialogue, for effects and music, and then moving on from there. I hope it's been useful um, and I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.